Donald Trump's hardline immigration policies are discouraging migrants seeking HIV treatment, a leading expert has claimed, as a new report showed infection rates among some Latino communities soaring by as much as 30 percent. A report published by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, claimed the battle against HIV in the U.S. has stalled in recent years after a period of steady decline. Latest figures show there are 39,000 new infections every year. The report, published three weeks after Mr. Trump announced a plan to end the HIV epidemic by 2030, showed that among white, gay, and bisexual men, infection rates decreased by 16%. Among black, gay, and bisexual men, they remain stable. However, among Latino, gay, and bisexual men, infection rates increased by more than 30%. Now is the time for our nation to take bold action. We strongly support President Trump's plan to end the HIV epidemic in America, said CDC Director Robert Redfield. At least one prominent expert believes Mr. Trump's policies are making the situation worse. While the data contained in the CDC report was collected from 2010-16, before Mr. Trump became president, there is said to be evidence his hardline policies on immigration are discouraging some of the most vulnerable groups from getting treatment. Carlos Del Rio, professor of global health at Atlanta's Emory University, told The Independent he had seen persuasive evidence that HIV outreach among migrant and Latino communities had become more difficult since the president took office. He said it appeared many people were keeping their heads low. That is why, while I welcome the president's proposal to tackle HIV, his other policies are impacting people, said Mr. Del Rio, a member of the leadership team of Fast Track Cities, a global United Nations-backed initiative to tackle HIV. It is good to have lofty goals, but those other policies are impacting that effort. The CDC data showed that, after falling for a number of years, the total number of infection rates leveled off from 2013-2016. We are not making any progress since 2013, said Mr. Del Rio. And that report is the big picture. When you look locally, you see there are big increases in some areas. The report showed that of the new infections, around 20,000 were recorded in the southern U.S.